reaction time. Oh uh, yeah. And today we got a much requested video from BTS. Another one from the ever popular, the ever insightful XLS. That's right. <laughs> Who uh, makes really amazing BTS videos. Fantastic stuff. Definitely go check out her channel. I left a link in the description. Uh -huh. And this one is called BTS Contributions to Music. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oops. But before that, don't forget to subscribe on our channel. Wow, right, Luda. That was such a random transition <laughs> interjected into a flow of me describing how awesome this is. And you got to do a plug. Yes. Gee. Oh, Unapologetic. Before... But I'll take it. Better than nothing. Before we forget. So what's the contribution to music means, John? You don't know the word contribution means? I do. So don't let me explain these. I don't know how to explain <laughs> You should add this to one of your vocabulary <laughs> words then, because it's a good word. It is a good Contribution word. Contribution means like what they give to music, what they contribute, <laughs> their offering, they how offering. they have helped music. Ah, I see. How mm. they help army, not specifically army, but listeners get through their... Mm, don't know, Luda. That you're, you're trying to okay. interpret a video here that I have not watched <laughs> and you haven't watched. So. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just assuming. All right, let's watch this. All right, XLS. Let's check it out. Thanks again. Let's do this and away we go. BTS, the world's biggest boy band. RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, <laughs> and Most Jungle. Would be. Really nice. How are they the biggest of today? BTS became the first Korean act to receive an RIAA album certification. They currently have two certified RIAA platinum singles and four gold in the US. Their most recent album, Map of the Soul Persona, sold more than 3 million copies in just its first month. BTS sold 573,000 albums in just the US through the week ending July 18. It's amazing that bands can even sell albums anymore. Music has changed so much. It used to be where you could sell millions and millions. And this was without bundles. Forbes named them the world's highest paid boy band, debuting at number 43 with $57 million in pre-tax income. Their album Persona went number one on iTunes album charts in 89 what? countries and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, making it BTS's third Billboard number one. Wow. This tied them with the Beatles for the most Billboard 200 number ones achieved in under a year with three different albums. Now, these are just a few of their recent achievements. The general public knows them for their incredible dances, vocals, visuals, and of course, their powerful Ooh, God, and I love this dance. bands called <clears throat> ARMY. Army. <laughs> but a lot actually don't realize that these seven men from South Korea contribute to their own music. Let's begin with their name. BTS stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan. Pangtan Son means to be resistant to bullets. So it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations that are imposed on adolescents to preserve the values and ideals of today's adolescents. Actually, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? A lot Bang of their Bang? work is no. inspired by art and literature. For example, their Wings album was inspired by the book Damien. This was the really difficult. Remember, we were trying to like... difficult to understand. I think I got a C in my psychology class. <laughs> That's how difficult psychology is when you get into like the persona and the map of the soul kind of stuff. Yeah. While their Map of the Soul Persona album was inspired by Young's Map of the Soul. Many references are made during their music videos and songs. They've always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. On BTS's official YouTube channel, Punktan TV, they posted self-produced music, dance and vocal practices, logs, and even reviews. Like Shiga's production system review. After watching the video, you'll realize that the beat he created was then used for his future mixtape called August D. They don't do a lot of this anymore, mm -hmm. but it's really awesome that Big Hit allows for this. I think this is a, such a game changer in the whole K-pop industry. Child, I got an idol rapper. 
From their first album, Too Cool for School, to their most recent, Map of the Soul persona, the members have contributed as writers and producers on every album. That's what contribution means, John. <laughs> they should call it contribution to their own music. Try to find like who could do like the, like the best for that melody. So we try to like always be fair, but it's sometimes it's hard. But we got our own style. So maybe like for one person, we wrote like twenty verses for it. Uh -huh. Not all of the members' melodies and lyrics make it in, but they would sometimes share some of their demos with fans online. <laughs> Even during their free time, like they create time music that's released to fans for free as a gift. <laughs> he can't afford a microphone stand. <laughs> <laughs> They're very humble. You know, he never changed his phone. Well, then my mom's Jin. humble too because she hasn't changed her phone in 10 years. Three of the rappers also released their mixtapes and playlists on SoundCloud for free. All of BTS are actually associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. And in 2018, oh, Suga was promoted to a full member. KOMCA is one of the largest nonprofit associations in Asia, and they only choose 25 members per year to promote to full. As of July 2019, RM's listed credits on KOMCA are now at 133 songs, alongside with J-Hope at 89, Shiga with 86, V with 7, Jungkook with 6, Jin with 5, and Jimin with 4. Wait, You'll number? also notice the repeating Their names alongside the members, such as P-Dog, Slow Rabbit, Supreme Boy, this, uh, Hitman Bang, Adora, and His Noise. They are BTS's company in-house producers. Hitman Bang is actually the CEO yes! of their company called <laughs> Big Hit. Oh. At the start of every BTS video, you'll see Big Hit's logo along with music and artist for healing. This mission statement goes back to their pre-debut days. Uh, that was kind of like a promise that we and Mr. Bang had right before our debut, so in 2013. We want to and we have to talk about what's really inside us mm. and we want to um, be helpful mm. to the world and we want to s we want to say and speak and show something that this world needs. Suga compares the company's Aww. songwriting process to a year-round song camp where the artists and producers work off of each other's ideas. They think of each other as equal partners in the process of creating music. They've been together since the beginning, so their strong bond is what makes BTS and the company a family. <laughs> they started from the bottom and grew together, literally from the bottom. For example, while BTS was in Los Angeles for a reality show back in 2014, instead of renting out a studio, they ended up recording their Dark and Wild album in a garage. Other than in-house producers, BTS have been collaborating with other artists, producers, writers, and mixers from other countries. And we sent it off, and, and we, I heard that BTS wanted it. It came out and I was like, love this. And they had new titles, Paradise. It was like completely different lyrics. Mm -hmm. They like changed it to like a self-help song. The original thing I talked about was much bitchier. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? That's what they song. always say. They do, they do I'm make the yeah. uh, lyrics so much more positive, huh? They're very aware of society's ill wills and how to approach it. I wonder if it's really all of them or if there's certain people in the group that have this sort of belief in social justice. Mm -hmm. I think it might be actually certain people that drive it really dumb. Like, I think probably RM is one person who really is very, very conscious of the, yeah, and, and helps Yung guide Ging. them. And, yeah, I think Suga too, yeah. I think the rap trio for sure, yeah. But all of them. <laughs> well, I think all of them adopted it, but it takes leaders to really drive it home mm -hmm. and to continue to infuse that type of expectation. 앨범에는 낙원이라는 곡이 바로 그 곡입니다. 어 제가 작년 신년 인사 때 저희 팬 여러분들한테 꿈이 없어도 행복하면 됩니다라는 말을 한 적이 있는데 어그 말에서부터 시작이 된 곡입니다. 어 세상은 
꿈을 꾸는 법을 가르쳐준 적도 없지만 항상 경쟁을 유도하고 무한 경쟁 속에서 지치는 많은 분들을 위해서 꼭 들려주고 싶은 곡이라고 생각을 했고요. Other than the catchy beats you hear in their songs, BTS is known for their socially conscious lyrics. They tackle topics such as mental health, self-acceptance, and empowerment. <목소리> Energy, 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 energy. No. We haven't reacted to this video yet. I've watched it already. <laughs> I haven't though. Okay, then let's do it. It's really cool. It's like movie. No love in this world. Importance of lyrics and understanding the meaning behind it. 사실 요즘 가사를 안 듣는 yes. 사람들이 많잖아요. 저만 해도 팝 들을 때 가사를 제가 아주 좋아, 어, 나이 노래 진짜 좋아서 가사를 알고 싶다라는 곡이 아니면 가사를 모르고 그냥 그 멜로디랑 그 바이브를 즐기잖아요. 물론 그래도 아무 문제 없고 사실은 그렇게 점점 더 흐름이 가고 있는 것 같은데 가사, 말에 그, 그게 줄수 있는 그 청각적인 질감과 언어적인 아름다움에 제가 집중하는 게 게다가 여러분께 바치는 말들이니까 훨씬 더 가사가 중요하지 않겠어요? BTS has earned a reputation you, for standing up against injustice and speaking for today's youth. They launched an anti-violence campaign with UNICEF on November 1, 2017, and on September 24, 2018, BTS delivered a speech about the Love Myself campaign in the United Nations General Assembly. Let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. Great job, RM. Amazing speech, by the way. We did react to that. So I'm going to include that link as well. And you should definitely check it out. One of the best, most inspiring speeches I've heard. As of June 30, 2019, the campaign's global accumulated funds total stands at 2.4 billion Korean won, which is more than 2 million US dollars. They continue to use their platform to speak up and bring awareness. Because of their positive influences, many people have been inspired and are working on self-love. Their fans, the ARMY, work on many projects and charities around the world in order to help spread the message. These seven men from really Korea love are more than just visuals, dancers, army. and singers. They don't singers. just get together and They're seven geek out, talented artists although they do do that too. Talent, <laughs> who have but they have a lot the of projects they where they do meetups projects. Yeah, to, to help something. They carry the, the lyrics. I think that's why yeah. RM is so you know adamant that the lyrics actually are important. Because those so lyrics are the things that inspire them. Like, yeah, I'm going to do some social justice too to like really right. help society right. but yeah he's got a fair point right which is that at the end of the day you know there are people who just like to listen to the melodies the music the lyrics are second and it's perfectly fine mm. and i think what he's trying to convey is but for those who do get caught up in the lyrics for the songs that they really love there's power in that and I think that's why they continue to put so much effort and work into mm -hmm. trying to create really positive, impactful lyrics. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, even though it sounds good, they know that for a certain segment of audience, that's enough of a catalyst mm -hmm. to spin up an army of people doing that's good. Right. There's a longevity on that compared to just the music, just the sound. And recent Namjoon's birthday, do you know what the army's project Big one. Their project was to. This is a test if he's an army. <laughs> yes, their project was to find all the little kids out there who aspire to be rappers <laughs> and give them hope to become big rappers one day. It's like looking for the next Jedi what? in Star Wars. Not even close. Oh, not even close. <laughs> no, they created a forest for Namjoon. Because Namjoon grew up in a forest? No, he loves trees. Oh. Yes, he loves going to nature. That's how he spent his whole oh. vacation. So what they did, they planted, I don't know how many trees, but yes, it's like the forest. Did and he they take call part it, of that YouTube like, um, charity event? Probably not. That was something else separate. Yeah, but recently there was a big event online where Mr. Beast, a whole bunch of YouTubers, dedicated all this time, money, and big celebrities and big 
millionaires, billionaires contributed like twenty, thirty million dollars to plant twenty million trees. What? Yeah, and there was like tons of videos created for all these YouTubers saying like I want to help spread that message because oh. climate change is a big problem. The yes, world is yes. dying. We are killing it. Right. And we're cutting out more trees than we are planting. So that was that big effort. But it's really cool to see that Army's right well, up there Army too has doing been their doing thing. It. Um not even Namjin's birthday, but um I forgot whose birthday, but they've been doing, you know, planting trees. Yeah. If you were so. testing me about yeah. my knowledge, I'm gonna test you back. Then why haven't you contributed to some sort of army project yet? How can you call yourself true army? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? They don't have in Las Vegas. Oh, they don't. You sure? They do, but it's not that plan. It's not. It's different. armies everywhere. That's right. They are everywhere. I work and I don't get a chance to uh, like go and what, what, what do we call that, Ludet? Excuse. That's right. <laughs> that sounds like an excuse. I would say next time, mm. plan it out and we'll go, we'll film it. Oh. If it doesn't happen, y'all, it's because she didn't plan it out. <laughs> Boom. Just put you on the spot. Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll look at what the Army's project around here in Las Vegas. Mm, not we, you. What me? You will lead the project. That's how <laughs> it works. Leadership comes from there. You say we, that means it doesn't happen because you're expecting No, me. I'm not Army enough to do that, John. Anyone can be Army if they got the heart. <laughs> what do you think? Are you going to pass some sort of test? Get certification? <laughs> That's how they do it in Korea. All right. Wow. Excellent. This is such an awesome video. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Man, you're if you were in really school, good. you should make BTS your thesis because you would pass. Yes, for like sure. That.